I appreciate you knowing this stuff. <laughs> I really do. I want to try a new one on you. This guy over here ate y'all for it. Uh, and I hope, I want to try this. Is it all right? I'm going to do this one new song. Yeah. I want a concert, man. I'm like, stop with the new shit, man. Play me that crap out. No. <laughs> Maybe that's not a folk concert, so. <laughs> this song I made up last year when I had, uh, I had already made up nine songs. And if you've ever made an album, or bought an album, you know that most uh, uh, albums are supposed to have ten songs. And so I was thinking, if I had one more song, I could make an album. <laughs> so I got up one morning, and I went and down to the piano, and I was like, okay, Snyder. I hit a chord. <laughs> say some shit. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. And it occurred to me, I'd never done anything like that in my life. I'm, 43 now, and that's the first time I'd ever sat down um, to try to make up a song. I didn't have anything I was trying to say to anybody. I didn't have any story I was trying to tell nobody. I didn't want to tell nobody I loved them or I didn't love them. I didn't have an opinion I was trying to sneak on nobody. I just wanted to make up another song so that I could put out an album and go on tour. And you know what? That's how they make country music. And I was like, that is, you laugh, but that's how they do that. And I thought, oh, I don't want to do that. felt convicted. I thought, well, this isn't why I got into this at all. And I was reminded of a, I read a book one time that had a quote in it from a World War I pilot named Eddie Rickenbacker, and this song was inspired by something that he said, and I'll, I'll get right to it. This song is called Song Number 10. <laughs> and it's the 11th song on our new album. It goes like this. A man once said that the pinnacle of success is when you finally lost interest in money and compliments and publicity. A noble enough idea, I suppose, but how on earth you do this, heaven only knows. I know I'd need a lot more of all three of those before I ever had the nerve to turn out my nose at any money or a compliment. <laughs> Some publicity. I'm broke as the Ten Commandments. Sometimes I'm harder to follow. I, I don't know whether to walk to school or take my lunch. I shit a while my watch, it's true. You may think you see a man up here looking for attention, but you're looking at a man who's lived through a little bit of poverty, some anxiety, some scrutiny. I'll tell you what, if I ever do get my money together, I'm going to take care of all my friends. I'll buy an island on a phone line, call and tell them all to get fucked. Oh, that ought to take care of them. Just be me and my money and my compliments and my publicity. Sing it with me, money. I love the compliments and the publicity. It's kind of an issue for me. I, I went to see this therapist one time. She said, just do the best you can do. Do the best you can do. I was hoping for something more specific. <laughs> And when you finally lost interest in money, compliments, and publicity. Many years later, another man will say all that again, but not for the sake of inspiring men, but rather because he's got nine songs and knows he needs at least ten. If all you can go back to town and turn it all in to get the money, you guessed it, the compliments and the publicity, the Lord will want to take it to the bank.
Yeah.